Hi traders, it's Meir Barak here from TradeNet. Welcome to the recording of my live trading session. You will be able to watch my screams as I trade and my PL and learn a little bit more about day trading as if you were sitting right here beside me and watching my screams, which I believe is probably the best way to learn trading. Now let's join my trading room member and start the trading session. Hey right, Scott. There you go. About Hi, traders. 35 seconds. There's Mayor. Hey partner. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi everyone market is open as you can see the S&P is kind of flat I mean just a little bit over yesterday's closing price Nasdaq is practically at zero but we did have a nice green day yesterday although most of the day we were kind of going sideways now let's try and find some movers I'm coming off a red day yesterday it was an unpleasant day for me guys I'm buying some Nvidia here just over 411 not much size so I could um, go for a pullback because it's a bit extended here entry point should have been around just under 410 so I know I'm paying a little bit too much but I do love the way the daily of Nvidia looks and this initial move up look to me like it should probably continue S&P is over the highs clearly over the highs Nvidia is doing well one and a half point but not enough I think I'm gonna do something I don't usually do is take a big risk and wait some more Tesla. as I'm adding ago, to Nvidia here three weeks. over 414 what? I'm just added to Nvidia over 414 I want to trust it today I really want to trust it today I don't usually do that I really want to trust Nvidia I'm still not full size but I just added we've got everything going in our, in our favor I mean Nvidia is up 0.9 percent and the S&P is moving up clearly moving up not in a big way I mean it's just up 0.2 percent right now so I have to be careful because things could change here but the combination of the daily of Nvidia and here we go a new high and the fact that the market's moving up and the fact that the market was moving up in the recent few days I think it's a good combination and I rarely take this risk but today I want to take it and now my head is playing tricks on me the question is of course which goes on in my mind right now should I take a partial though I was expecting and hoping for much more in Nvidia and just you know establish the fact that I'm green for the day and nicely green for the day based only on Nvidia really or should I take a risk and not hold to my expected target I'm taking another look here at the daily I just love the daily look at that daily let me ask you traders what is your opinion my entry point in Nvidia my average entry point is just over 412 what do you guys think should be my target in Nvidia it could be now I mean we're up three points right here or it could be higher what is your unbiased opinion because I'm biased right now you see I'm, I'm looking at Nvidia now and I'm thinking like you know it could move much higher but I want to get I want to stay in green so if I'm going to click the button right now I'm going to be very green today Marino says 416 DVG 419 Danny saying 419 Marino 416 DVG 417 DVG okay Abu is saying 416 Jeff 41870 Gil 416 Kiri saying partial now <laughs> I'm up four points I feel like doing that you know Kiri that's exactly why I'm asking it most of you believe that I should wait to that price I'm up almost five points sorry traders I can't take the hit it's a bit extended it's gonna show me a sign it wants to move down I, I think I won't take my partial I'm very close still is moving up taking now my partial I took my partial in Nvidia could not take the hit yeah it's a bit extended I, I, I agree James traders I'm um, practically done for the day here are my results I'm still riding uh, Nvidia and Meta and both of them are just over two grand so I'm going I mean I'm right now I'm up just over thirteen thousand dollars which is great I love it did not yet cover my loss form yesterday I had a very nasty losing day yesterday but you know what a big part of it is terminated and anyway I should not and that's one of the things that I always want you to remember you should not try to act today based on what happened yesterday I was not trying to gain yesterday's loss I'm not saying 
I, I'm not influenced by that. I'm definitely, I'm human. But whenever you have a losing trade or a losing day, please do not come into the next day feeling like you need to compensate for what happened yesterday in case it was a losing day. And if you had a winning day, don't feel invincible and do whatever you may do when you are doing very well, because that's also a problem. It's the opposite problem, but it's also a problem. So anyway, it's a good day for me. I can't complain. And if you enjoyed it enough, please, if you're in YouTube, please give us a like. I'm watching the number of likes right now. Come on, guys, it's ridiculous. Help us out. There's uh, not enough likes. You're having a good day here, and I'm looking for your support. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's plenty of links below, and we're looking forward to trading with you. And please remember what... Uh, the trading is extremely hard. Yogi mentioned that earlier. It may look easier, easy to make $11,000 or actually over $13,000 right now. It is not. You also need to remember there are some hard days and one of them was yesterday. So this is not an easy game. Thank you very much for joining in. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye traders.